my channel or a welcome back to my channel. So today is a really exciting video because I had this brand, Oh Yeet, reach out to me and send me their brand new personalized blender, which is basically good for one drink instead of just, you know, a big pitcher. This is more personalized so you can literally blend and go so i figured why not unbox this on camera i just got done with a workout that's why i'm in my workout outfit i'm a little red hot sweaty so i wanted to unbox this with you babes and make a smoothie just to see how does this perform are the blades good is the smoothie nice and thin so if you want to see is a yeet worth it then just keep watching all right, all right, so we have our Oyeet blender right here. I have mine in dark navy blue. It's really nice, the box looks black. At first I thought it was black, but the more I look at it, I'm pretty sure this is dark navy blue. But let's just go ahead, unbox this, and see what she looks like. So packaging is super nice right away. We are seeing we have an Oyeet book, so let me go ahead, open her on up see what she is all about. Okay, so everything's just gonna slide on out of this Oyeet. So we have a GoPower user guide. Ooh, we have a 14 day weight loss smoothie plan. That's nice. Oh, okay, seven muscle building smoothies for lean mass. So that's kind of cool. So they come with two little booklets. So kind of ideas on what to make. Let me see. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so this is really awesome, you guys. It comes with a freaking shopping list. So it gives you your shopping list of everything you're gonna need to make these smoothies. Of course, you don't have to go buy the book. You can always make your own smoothies. That's what we're gonna be doing. We'll be making my favorite protein smoothie. But I like that this has ideas because I do get bored with the smoothies that I use. So, switching it up with these two, love that option. Then it comes with a power guide. Oh, okay. Seven days transformation for beginner weight loss fuel nutrition boost. So this comes with three booklets, you guys. That is pretty freaking awesome. So a bunch of different smoothie ideas. I really, really like that. You literally get three booklets, seven days, 14 days, seven days. So that's 28 days of smoothie ideas, which that's a lot of smoothie ideas if you ask me. Okay, and then we just have our Go Power user guide. This is literally gonna tell us how to set it up. I'm gonna take it out, we'll see. I'm sure it's pretty user friendly, but we'll see. Okay, so everything looks really nice inside. It's packaged very well, love that. So we have our blender. So then this is where we'll be plugging it into. Technical difficulties, getting out of the box. Okay, there we go, that. Got a little box of something. What's in this little box? So let's take everything out and then get it popping. Um, everything is unboxed now. I'm just gonna put this to the side. The first thing that fell out was one of these little brushes. So that's kind of cool that this comes with a cleaning brush. I really like that because if you make smoothies, um, you probably know sometimes it's a little difficult to clean all the smoothie out of your blender. So I like that it came with this little brush. Cute little brush moment, love that, love that. Okay, so we got a little brush. What else do we have in here? So we had a little box in there. I'm thinking this might be the lid. Oh yes, okay. Okay, so it is dark blue, dark navy blue. So we have the lid over here. Ooh, she's nice. So this feels really nice. It's not very heavy at all. I mean, it's got some weight to it and it feels well like built but it's not super heavy. So like if you were to travel with all of this, that would not be bad at all. I really like how lightweight this is, but how sturdy it feels. And obviously it just plugs in to the wall, quick, easy access, I like that. Okay, here is our bottle. The moment we've all been waiting for the bottle. Oh, she's nice. Okay, you guys, let's get close up. As you guys can see, she's dark blue. Uh, it has a 3D print on it that says OE, but if you look closer, there's also these like little holes. So it looks really nice. It feels really, really good, very sleek. Then on the inside, you can kind of see it's clear right here. So we'll be able to see our smoothie being blended. And then you're just gonna connect it right here. And I believe if we just untwist this, there's the blade. So this is 
very quick and easy on the go. I'm already liking this because I don't have a personalized blender. I have a very big one, so I end up making like three smoothies worth, and in reality, I just need one, and usually when I have a smoothie, I'm on the go. So this is gonna be perfect because after you're done blending it, I'm assuming, we're just gonna pop this baby on and bounce on out. So, let's make a smoothie. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanna show you babes everything I'm going to be putting into this smoothie. This also came with this little little guy, and it basically tells you you could put ice, you could put booze, healthy fat, fruit, leafy greens, just don't fill it past the max, which the max is actually right here on the inside, and then everything else is right here on the outside. So we are going to be adding spinach to our smoothie. We're gonna add almond breeze, hint of honey, vanilla, almond milk, frozen mixed fruit, a half of a frozen banana, and then my favorite protein is this Orgain organic vanilla protein, and I also add in collagen powder. So let's get the smoothie going. Let's go ahead and start with our dry products. So I'm gonna start with my Orgain organic as well as my collagen powder. I put these in all of my smoothies um, just because this is how I make my smoothies. So I'm gonna make my smoothie exactly how I normally would, because that's just how I do, boo. I like to add two scoops of collagen. I do feel like this collagen is helping with my hair, my nails, and with my loose skin. I don't know if that's just in my head, but I feel like my loose skin has gotten a little bit tighter when I'm using this, and this is my second container. I am very consistent. I try and use this every single day if not every other day. I purchased this from Costco. Then we are going to add in vanilla protein powder into our Ogeet. I really like this one. Um, I feel like the vanilla tastes really, really yummy in it. I also purchased this one from Costco. So now we have all of our powders in here and I'm already up to about five ounces. So now I'm going to add in a little bit of mixed fruit. I'm probably gonna do two frozen strawberries and then like a, a chunk of other mixed fruit. I'm so sorry that I'm not weighing this out or anything for you guys. I kind of just, I'm doing a guesstimation. It's still gonna be pretty low calorie. After that, we're gonna add in a frozen banana, or probably a quarter, so I'm about this much into my banana. And so far, this is how full we are. So we're getting close to that max line. So I'm gonna add in a very little amount of spinach, just like a handful. So we have a handful of that. We're getting really full, you guys. I'm basically past max now, but I think max might be liquid. So now I'm gonna put the liquid in and blend it up and we'll see how she performs. And then last but not least, we need our almond milk. So as you guys can see, we have our collagen powder, we have our protein powder, we have our frozen berries, and then we have our greens. So we just need to add some liquid. You can't see where the max line is right here, but, you, but in the inside, it's like literally right here. So I'm just not gonna put more liquid than that because I don't want this to like go crazy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put some, put some almond milk. I really like almond milk. You can also do water if you're really trying to watch your calories. I just like how creamy this makes my Smoothies, okay, so now I can tell that I'm basically at that max line. So now we're just gonna go ahead and put this little guy on. So the blades are already attached on here. I'm assuming we're just gonna shove that in here. I might have put a little too much stuff, you guys. Okay, got my lid on. I don't know if I put maybe a little too much product in here. I'm hoping not, but we'll see when we blend it. So we're just gonna pop this on here. Okay, babes, the moment of truth. Is Oye gonna blend all of the stuff that I have in here? Let's see. Okay, so I think I might have added a little bit too much stuff in here, and I think I need more liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this off, add a little bit more liquid. So I took off my lid and because I'm not used to this type of a blender yet, I'm used to a very big one, I put in usually a lot of stuff, so I'm thinking I need to put less products in here than I did, but I definitely, you can tell by how thick it is, need more liquid. So let's add more liquid. 
I'm thinking maybe next time I add in all my powders last. Okay, added in more liquid. Time to go back on the blender. Your girl is experiencing some technical difficulties. So I'm so used to using a really big blender. I put way too much product in this blender to begin with, you guys. So I just took a little bit of it out with a spoon and added in more um, almond milk. So let's go ahead and blend it and see if that will blend the rest. Okay, so now that I have taken some product out, I am thinking I should have done my collagen powder and my protein powder last. And I should have known this because the collagen powder, once it gets wet, it, it gets stuck. And with my blender, when I put my powders first, I totally forgot to realize on my other blender, the blades are on the bottom, so my protein powder gets mixed in quicker. So if you are using protein powder or collagen powder, I highly suggest that you put your, your greens, your fruits, before you put in your powders. That way the powders are on the top, closest to the blades and they'll blend a little bit easier, I'm assuming. So I'm definitely gonna try that for next time. And just like that, it took a little bit of work, but we are done. Um, I would say this is a little bit of a user error because I didn't realize that I'm obviously working with a smaller blender. I should have realized that and put less product. So less is going to be more, but now it's all blended up. So let's give it a try. See if this is a thick smoothie, a thin smoothie. Is everything blended? Am I going to be chewing any of my fruit? Oh, that's good. Ooh. Mmm. Tell me why my smoothie tastes more fluffy. Does that make any sense? I know that's kind of a weird way to describe a smoothie but it's like very creamy and very fluffy. Not like my blend, my other blender. Oh, this is yummy. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even put my lid on. Okay, so I am totally not mad at the way that blended. Let's go ahead and put our lid on. So this is really nice because say you were in a rush and you need to leave the house ASAP, you could literally blend this. It's already in its cup and it's ready to go. Let's see how this works. Okay love that love details like that okay so you just press this oh she ready she ready let's take a little sip mm. oh mama likes her mm. this feels so nice like the quality of this like feels really good very durable i like the spout on here it also comes with a little a little handle that's kind of cutie i'm not mad at this at all this is actually a really good blender. So my overall thoughts, I'm gonna say, like I said earlier, do not put in your protein powder and your collagen powder first. Put in all of your smoothie ingredients and then put your protein or your dry powders, whatever powders you're putting in, last. That way it blends easier because your blades are gonna be at the top and not at the bottom like a normal blender. Overall, this blended my smoothie and made it so creamy and so fluffy. There's no chunks of anything. And mind you, I used everything frozen. Frozen bananas, frozen strawberries, frozen mangoes. So everything was very hard, it was frozen. And this really did the damn thing, you guys. I'm so excited about this. I'm super excited to try this with other smoothies now that I know to put a little bit less product in here. I feel like the next round with this is gonna be so bomb. This tastes delicious. But also, you guys, they gave me a discount code for you guys. So if you use this code right here, you can save 30% off your Oyeet blender right now. I will be sure to link this in my description. So be sure to take advantage. They just came out with these, and they're offering free shipping with my code as well. So I hope you guys like this. If you liked this video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Shout out to Oyeet for sending me this. That was so awesome of them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. And until next time, 